The transaction prices have moved up, the rebates have come down, and now people are excited about the car, not about the payment, not about the price. The GM turnaround can be charted at Sarah Buick GMC Cadillac outside Detroit. Almost 18 months ago, there was uncertainty here, anxiety, as the venerable car maker crumbled into bankruptcy. People feel better, and, and it's exciting, and I think you can see that by the excitement in, in the IPO. As General Motors re-enters the market in one of the largest initial public offerings in U.S. history, those here in the Motor City with strong ties to the automaker are heralding a remarkable comeback. And many, like GM dealer Randy Jackson, are putting their own money on it. You know, I'm very excited. I'm registered for it, so I'm going to participate in it. And uh, it's exciting that there's this much interest. Uh, it's not. It doesn't surprise me. Uh, GM's a great company. Um, you know, they got a great future. So it doesn't surprise me that there's this much interest. GM retirees are also eligible to buy into the offering. But for former engineer John Christie, deciding whether to invest is complicated. The older retirees have had a lot of GM stock which became almost worthless, uh, they took a pretty good financial hit on that. So a lot of those folks are not real anxious to get back in and maybe are not even financially in a position to get back in. Shares are also being made available to GM employees. George McGregor, president of United Auto Workers Union Local 22, says like retirees, employees have a lot to consider before putting up their own money. The average guy that works in the plant is worried about his job. And uh, that's what he faces every day. Christie, who was with the company for 36 years and is now president of the General Motors Retirees Association, says he will buy into the revived automaker. Not everyone is, is anxious to participate, but for those that are, I think it's a, it's a very good offer. To be sure, Washington's move to prop up GM was controversial. Even folks here will admit that, but they say popular or not, the decision saved the company, and now it looks like the government's bet in General Motors is ready to pay off. Jason Bronis, The Associated Press, Washington Township, Michigan.